LT baby. So today I am doing a review on Play-Doh's hair. And we're going to start out by taking the hair out the package. It came with a wig cap and lashes. And I was very pleased with the packaging. There was really no smell to it or nothing like that. So now I got a 22 inch is what I'm showing you guys. Um, I did go ahead and pluck and bleach the lace off camera. And what I love about this wig, as you, I just showed y'all, it's a full frontal wig. So there's no you and taking up space. There was all the space to work with so now i'm gonna go ahead and add the makeup to my hair the makeup you use the closest shade to your skin tone and i'm using the ruby kisses makeup So now I'm going to go ahead and also add the makeup inside of the lace. So as you guys see me doing that, I'm going to freeze the makeup in place with some got to be free spray so that when you sweat and stuff, it won't move or nothing. Okay. And I'm just going to blow dry it dry. So now I'm going to clean off my forehead with 91% alcohol and I also added skin protectant before I applied the lace glue. So what you want to do next is measure the wig on the top of your head and kind of adjust it to your hairline so you know where you're going to place the wig. So the only con about this wig is it low-key had a funky hairline and i'm gonna show you guys what you do which is really simple on how to adjust it so the top part was a little too far up for me and it wasn't giving natural so i went ahead and traced out where my forehead line stopped and i'm just gonna cut that into place So after I just cut it, now I'm going to go ahead and just pluck that hairline since it's now a whole new hairline since I had to cut it. And everything else is really self-explanatory. So I'm going to just come on and just make sure I tell you guys in detail what I am doing. So today I am using the Bold Hold Active. This is my second favorite glue. My first favorite glue is the Hair by Erica J's glue, but I sadly ran out. So I'm going to apply three layers today to do this install. So once it's all dry and clear, I'm going to go ahead and add the lace down into the glue, making sure that it is aligned with it. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a nice rat tail comb so that I can press down smoothly into the lace into the glue. So y'all, I was kind of struggling trying to hold both sides down. So when your stylist asks you to hold down the um, lace, please y'all, it's just to help us. Because do y'all see the way I was trying to see and hold both sides at the same time? It just wasn't working. Also, don't forget to cut around your ear tab to make sure that the frontal fits good. So the frontal on the other side um, didn't go past my ear. It was just the one side. So I went ahead and cut that to my liking. 
and now I'm just making sure that everything is pressed in and I'm gonna add in makeup so that I can blend it more before I add on the Eben hairspray to melt down the lace. So when adding the even hairspray, I like to use my finger, not only because it's less messy than to just spray it across, but it also gives me control of adding it right to my hairline where I want it to be and not adding it to like the excess lace in front of so it'll stay down, but it's more controlled that way. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my wig band for about 10 minutes. And now you're just gonna see me cutting um the lace off with the razor and i am gonna switch back to the um scissors i believe i think so because my scissors is just on point to me um the razors is always make it or break it for me um especially if it's not really new i like if to just have that seamless cut and if it can't do that i'm just gonna go back to my scissors but um yeah so just keep on watching For more of a blend, I'm just going to add the rest of the makeup that was on the brush to my hairline. And after this step, I'm going to go ahead and part out the hairs from my edges. I was just looking at how natural the hairline looks like okay so get into it y'all so i just want to talk about the perks of this hair so when i was plucking this hair this unit is probably one of the best units that i didn't take no time plucking okay like the hairs was moving so be careful not to over pluck because the hairs come out in this unit and it came out so natural it bleached very well it bleached very very well and everything about this hair is just good it's a 180 density 13 by 4 and for a 180 density it was very full to my liking it does shed a tad bit but it's nothing that is too crazy for me and i've had it in right now for about two weeks and it's been doing its job so just keep on watching i'm gonna go ahead and add some more even spray to go ahead and melt down the hair again to get the edges the baby hairs to lay down flat towards my face so now i'm going in with the fantasia heat protecting spray and i'm gonna go ahead with my Karen cares wax stick so that i can um hot comb my hairline and make it all natural and cute i was just loving the way the hair was looking okay y'all like i don't know about y'all but with curly hair i love some full thick curly hair okay it's just it gives me life for some reason so yeah Just want to mention when you're hot combing do you see how slow i'm gliding the hot comb y'all the hot comb is your best friend do not be scared of the hot comb okay so what i like to do is when i'm gliding it i make sure like the back is also smoothing it out like you have to take your time it's a seamless process okay look like you could see the hairline now right yeah you just have to go slow and take your time like it came out so bomb
well now i'm gonna go ahead and work on my part i'm doing a middle part and the style that i'm doing today is the middle part claw clip um trendy style that everybody has been doing so here i'm gonna go ahead and get my middle part together and listen it, it however long it takes you is however long it takes you because you don't want to a, a middle side part you want a middle part okay and make sure that bad boy is cleaned up and directly in the middle so yeah take your time focus and get it together So now I'm gonna get started on my baby hairs. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure out and play with how I want it. So today I was doing my baby hairs in a new way and I'm glad that I got to film it so you guys could see with me. So y'all, I tried using the razor to cut the baby hair. Like I said, if the razor is not new, like and sharp, don't use it for your baby hairs if it's dull. I originally always use my scissors, I'm gonna be honest, but I just wanted to help the girlies out because some people can't control the scissors the way that I do, but my, my scissors are my best friend, okay? So, yeah. So, I'm gonna go ahead and cut um, the baby hairs so that I can start placing them and swooping them how I want to. And of course, you're going to take your mini flat iron and you're going to curl those baby hairs so that it can help you with the process. So it's two types of mini flat irons, this one and the actual really small one that I recommend, especially for beginners. So this one, the only difference is that you really have to go slower and take your time to make sure that it's curled. And that's what I learned. And it works for me. I already know how to. But the skinnier one i would definitely recommend especially for beginners and i might just get a new one myself but this one works perfectly fine for me and i know how to control it so yeah
Okay, y'all, so on this channel, you're going to see me do my baby hairs with so many different products. Well, not so many, two different products and in different ways. But today, what the products I'm using is the Got To Be Gel um, to mold it into place. And I'm also going to use mousse as well. So I just wanted to point out how you guys see me using my ring finger to help me guide and smooth and curve my baby hairs. So that is the key to doing your baby hairs, using your uh, opposite finger as a guide to help you smooth it and create that look. So y'all, and don't get frustrated because baby hairs take time when you're creating them. Like it's literally art in itself. So even myself, I get frustrated. I'm like, oh, you was just good. And then I messed you up. Time to start over. But I think I have a cliff in here where you're going to see me like get tired <laughs> of doing my baby hairs. But just keep going. because your girl arms was tired and the pressure was getting worse sir. look at me <laughs> like i was so over it my arms was hurting but y'all just keep going now the corner edges is like the easiest one and i was so happy to get there so the middle edge is the hardest one if you're doing that one and then the side ones only because you want that cute aesthetic look and you want it to be curved and not just any type of way so that's what took me a minute with that one but the corner one is always easier to do okay so just get past those two see how i was happy now y'all <laughs> just get past the two hard ones and just get to it so yeah So right here, you see me adding more hair to my edge because I felt like it was not full enough or like the opposite side. So in some cases, you would be plucking out hair because it's too thick. But in this case, you see me adding hair because it was too thin.
all right y'all so i was satisfied with my edges so after this step you can go ahead with the black um tissue paper and tie it down but i didn't have none on me in this moment so i just used my wig band and but that doesn't help it dry so i would go with the black parchment paper and leave it on for about 15 minutes and you can blow dry as well or sit under the dryer and let it dry completely So now I'm going to go ahead and get the styling process started. So like I said, I'm doing the middle part two side um, smooth down with the claw clip. So I'm going to go ahead and part back, um, part in the back to cover up the tracks so that we can't see them. And I'm going to smooth down the front parts as well. So I parted the two bangs out of my face so that I can now smooth down the back part to cover up the tracks in the back. So I'm going back in with my Fantasia heat protecting spray and I'm going to go ahead and use my wax stick as well. And I'm going to hot comb them back into place so that you can't see the tracks in the back. So now I'm going to go ahead with my olive oil spritz to keep the hairs in place as I molded it back to cover the tracks and I'm going to go ahead and blow dry so that it can dry and stay in place. So since I didn't have the black tissue paper, I'm going to go ahead and blow dry my edges to make sure that they're completely dry and in place so that they won't move and that they stay to my liking. Okay, so now I'm going to begin the front styling process and I'm just going to comb out the front to get it as smooth and straight as possible. So that's what you see me doing. You see me practicing the placement of where I want it, how it will look like before I freeze it and mold it into place. So y'all see how it just tried to take me out, y'all? Do y'all see that? That's a shame. That's a shame. <laughs> so let's start over. <laughs> So I went ahead and took the parting out and I'm going to use the mousse to mold it into place without securing it first. And the mousse helps to get it as smooth as possible. Like you see how it's starting to look like straight hair? Yeah, that's what we want. We want to get it smooth and lay flat as possible. So 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and comb it and smooth it out with the mousse and get it as smooth and flat as possible. Okay, so now I see that it's to my liking and I'm gonna go ahead and use the spritz and smooth it out with the um, edge brush and get it real sleek and straight, okay? And the way I was doing it, I didn't want it to cover my hairline or my baby hairs cause I wanted it to give like, it was natural. I wanted it to give like, that's my hair. Like I didn't want it to be all over the baby hairs covering it. I wanted to have that hairline look like this is my hair. So now I'm gonna go ahead and lock it in in position with a rubber band and tie it in the back. And as I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and mold it and clean it up some more. So here I'm just adding the last finishing touches by cleaning up my hairline and getting my edges into place with the spritz. And y'all, y'all see how the mirror tried to take me out again. I was just over it. But I'm going to continue to use my spritz to clean up the hairline and get it to be as natural and clean as possible. And guys, the style is basically done after this step of cleaning the um and molding the um bangs together not together but molding the bangs down because the next step is to just clip the half up part into that claw and the style is done if you want to spray your hair and wet it you go ahead and do that at the moment i was liking the way that the curls was giving that nice full look so i didn't wet it too too much but i know the girls the girlies be liking the wet wet look so you guys can go ahead and do that if that's to your liking as well. And again, so here you're going to see me use the moves to make sure that it is all smoothed down and into place to get it seamlessly straight and smooth into that ponytail. And even if it falls down, it doesn't matter because you see how I just rub it in and it's just giving y'all. This look definitely gave and it ate, okay? It left no crumbs and I just love that. And I used the actual claw clip and it's very simple. So as you see, I held it and flipped it up and I'm just gonna position the claw clip behind it and boom, there I go. And I was just playing with it to my liking 
and now i'm just gonna make sure that everything is in place and intact and y'all i'm gonna also clean up my part and add makeup to it and spray it down with the black spray and we're all done and it was just giving y'all the the girls love it and i love it so get into it please do i used the la girl pro concealer I forgot in what shade to clean up my part because I did go a shade lighter, lighter and I believe it probably was in the color fawn just to make sure the girls could see it and look the part was already given before the spray down and I just love that okay and your girl is done and I'm just gonna go ahead again and just tap on some of the makeup to make sure that it is blending and it is giving skin and your girl it was giving skin like that is my hair the curliness like the curls was giving and i was just loving this style it was just everything so i'm gonna spray everything with the um gossipy spray to make sure everything is secured in place since it's to my liking and blow dry it so that it won't move The Caring Care Oil Sheen Spray, and I really love it because it leaves you, girl, your wigs shining and everything. But the nozzle did get like messed up, so I had to go with the um, Fantasia Heat Protector Spray, which also as well as a good shine to your hair. If you didn't know, now you know. And that is all for the video. It is giving scalp. It is giving real cute. Like, just look at this look. Like, I was so in love. I got so many compliments everywhere I went on social media. And yeah, guys, subscribe to my channel.